Hello everyone, this is Lydia and I have a video response for Rosella. She is Zender Lees here on YouTube. She is hosting a March Lace Challenge. And your project is due on March 28. All you have to do is create anything and add three, use three different laces. So I'm going to add three links down below. One will be to um, Rosella's challenge. The second link will be to the tutorial if you want to try this project and you know alter your balsa box into a vintage looking camera and the third link will be to on oh, and that that tutorial is by Gina she's scrapinology and then the third link is going to be to Sarah Elliott's video she altered two balsa boxes and they turned out fabulous and I think it's worth taking a few minutes and stopping by and see what she did with her balsa boxes and then you can get inspired if you want to create yours. So let me show you some of the um, items that I use to create my, alter my balsa box. So I use, this is the, the shape that I use, this one here, from Michaels. I use some vintage photo. I use this paint that matches very well with the paper collection. This is, what is this, metallic ice blue. There's the number. Very, very pretty color. I use some of this, um, trim that I received from Lori Elemenia. Thank you, Lori, the yellow one. I used some flat back pearls in that powder blue. Some trims that I purchased. I used this one here, the smaller one. So that's my first trim. You have to use three trims. My second trim is this one that I received from Karen Sue. Thank you, Karen Sue. I just have one tiny bit left on that one. And I used this trim here that I received from Steph, Brown Baby Craftaholic. Thank you, Steph. I used um, some hook and loop fasteners. Thank you, sis, for these. And then for my papers, I used the Antique Papery by Colorbox. Super gorgeous papers. I love this paper pad. I had to pull it out of the hoard vault. I haven't used it in some time. So here's my project. Here it is. And this is going to a friend of uh, one of my YouTube buddies. I hope that she likes it. So, um, yeah, Gina shows you how to put it together and she teaches you how to make your lens. My original idea inside here, I wanted to add like a little bird's nest and a bird, but um, I had glued my lens cap on it and, you know, I went through so much work to create the lens, it was a pain in the neck for me that I didn't want to redo one, so, because I'm lazy. <laughs> but some, somebody make one and add a little bird's nest in here and a bird, that would be super cute. Okay, so here's the um, the front of my balsa box, and I use the larger rose print paper here. Here's that lace that I received from Steph, and there's the flat back pearl. Second lace is here, and then my third lace is the handle. So this is the top. I use two different papers. There's the viewfinder. So it looks like so. Here's a little clicker. And I painted the uh, the knob that came with the box in that metallic blue and then add, added this rhinestone buckle. It's so sparkly. And a flat back pearl. And then there's the little viewfinder, whatever you call those things. There's the paper. Here's more lace. Here's the inside of the box. And I painted it in that pretty metallic blue. And then here is the Velcro. This one did not want to stick, so I just added some E6000 and crossing my fingers that it's not gonna come off and then I will close it and fill it with some goodies for her so that's what it looks like from behind and I added some um, some of these buckles here to hold the lace for the handle there's the rosette trim and I use different pattern papers on the lens on the front and top and bottom and distressed it with vintage photo so that is my project share for today, ladies. Head on over <coughs> to um, Rosella's channel. She's Zendra Lee here on YouTube. I will add a link down be below and join the fun. Thanks for watching, everyone. Post a comment if you wish and subscribe. Have a fabulous day. Bye.